When assessing usability, one of the most common problems is a lack of focus. Let's take a look at how we can redesign a page to appear more intentional, deliberate, and focused. Most of the time when you're assessing usability, you're looking at a web application. However, the user experience starts the first time that a user hears about your application. This homepage is advertising an imaginary product. We want to highlight the product, point out a few key features, and give people an idea of what it does. Hopefully by the end, this page will be enough to encourage people to click through to the sign-up form. Now, this homepage has all the components that we need, but it also has a lot of other things that we don't. When conducting a usability review and looking for ways to improve the site, it's much like cleaning up your home. The first step is to throw out all the garbage. By cleaning up the clutter, you help the user stay focused on the task at hand, which in this case is signing up for a product. In the sidebar, there's a sign up button for newsletters. This could very easily be confused with the call to action button, which is asking users to sign up for the service. The newsletter might be helpful to some people, but overall it's very distracting to the focus of the page, which is the product. So let's go ahead and remove that piece. The next thing that you'll notice in the sidebar are the social icons. There's an icon for Twitter, Facebook, and various other social networks. While these are nice, they could probably be relegated to the footer or header of the site and don't really belong in the main content of the page. So let's go ahead and remove these as well. Great. Lastly, the portion about the company blog with the RSS icon and the tag cloud really do nothing to sell the product. Let's go ahead and remove these as well. Again, all of these things in the sidebar might be helpful, but they really take away from the focus of the page. Now that we've cleared out the sidebar, we have a lot more space to work. Let's start by removing the sidebar and expanding the left panel to fill the width of the page. Great. As your users move down the page, you want them to go from very general, broad topics to more specific information. The features are nice, and we do want to keep them on the page, but they're far too specific to be so high up. Let's go ahead and move them down here. In order to do that, we'll need to move the call to action button up, which is really a good idea anyway. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just go ahead and move this call out bar up, expand it across the page, Put the call to action button in a nice prominent place there, and we'll move up this get started for free message a little bit. Now we have enough space to move these icons down the page. So we'll put 99% uptime guaranteed down there, get it on the go on the right side, and cloud based software in the middle. Already, this is looking much less cluttered and more focused on the task at hand. Let's now focus on the upper half of the page. The video explaining the product, along with the headline, are the most important things on the page, so we need to make them much larger. So let's start by expanding out this video. And we'll increase the size of this headline. And we'll put in a line break, just to break things up a little bit. And we'll put it right in the center of the page, so that visitors can't miss it. Move it over just a little bit. Now you're ready to just do a few final tweaks, and for my final tweak, I think that everything is a little bit bunched up on the bottom of the page. So let's go ahead and just move things up a little bit.
that spacing looks much better, and I think we're done. Now, let's look at the before and after. Which do you like better? The less cluttered one looks much more aesthetically pleasing to a potential customer. When improving a user experience, always remember that you're not designing for you. You're designing for the user. Removing page elements, reworking a layout, or even rewriting copy can do a whole lot to bring focus to your page. By saying less, you can actually say a whole lot more.